<laughs> and so yes. uh, uh, now I'll, I'll introduce the second uh, uh, interview from Ames Music Connected, which is with uh, uh, Stephen Bass, uh, co-founder of uh, Moshi Moshi. Uh, the label's got an incredible history, uh, uh, you know, t uh, over 10 years uh, of, of doing uh, great work on the independent, uh, in the independent sector. Uh, today's panel, I wanted to talk about that first, is about uh, uh, music and brands. Uh, on, on that perspective, for, for Moshi, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the associations between uh, independent artists uh, and, and, you know, independent labels and brands, and are those growing in, in the last uh, few years? Uh, we're very open to working with brands. I think we always have been as a independent label which started unfortunately probably five years too late to be in a position to make money in the old fashioned way we've always had to be a right. bit forward thinking um, so we're very open to it I'd actually like to do more to be honest I'm here today with a view to trying to do more you just have to make it work for yourself really um, and it's always possible to do that so, yeah, we're very open to it. The more, the better, really. Sure. And uh, fr from uh, your label's perspective, have you had uh, any interesting success, success story or interesting partnerships that have ha happened over the, over the last uh, couple of years uh, when it comes to brands? Um, maybe three years ago, I helped curate uh, the Riz Lab stage at Best of All. I think that went really well. Um, certainly from my point of view, um, you know, it got us a little bit of money. We got to work with some interesting artists and just enabled us to do things which we hadn't previously been able to do you know when we don't have the funding i think anything that allows you to do things that you're restricted to do otherwise we've didn't, done a couple of other bits and bobs uh, slow club did a live performance at red bull studios that was streamed we recently made some beer for our 15 year anniversary with brew dog awesome. um so just bits and pieces and then probably more directly with the bands that we work with and manage with yeah. manage as well so and uh, there was just a direct fan uh, panel here at music connected and so uh, the subject here is uh, how best can uh, artists and record labels uh, make the most of, of the direct fan uh, opportunities so what are you doing in that respect we have a website which you know we sell things on via the website which we've been doing for quite a while now we've st we've actually taken that in house recently um we also have had a subscription running for quite a few years now. I mean, maybe seven years where wow. people can pay 25 or 50 pounds a year and get everything we release digitally. Um, so That's we've awesome. been exploring these things. Um, again, I think we're very much a work in progress, Moshi Moshi. You know, I'd love to be in a position where we could bring in people to work these things as hard as possible you know and really exploit them so I think the potential's there and I, I know that we should be doing more um, day to day we're pretty much just focused on working on the bands and making sure the bands have their careers you know yeah. I think um, it's something for the future for us to explore more and, and, and exploit as much as we can Moshi Moshi's brand you know and what we can who we can reach yeah, and uh, talking about funding, one of the interesting things that's come up in the last uh, sort of two years was direct to fan, uh, but but from a sort of pledging perspective, so pledge music has come up as one of an, an interesting avenues for for labels and artists to raise funds before the album is released or as the album is being released. So, do you think that's something that m might be interesting for labels that are struggling with getting the enough funds to to get as many artists as they'd like signed and uh, sort of fund those releases and help uh, shift, you know, make the economics work a little bit better, essentially. Yeah, of course. We've done a bit of that. We've done a couple of things with Pledge, Tom Williams and the Boat, Summer Camp. Um, yeah. We recently had a band called Babe that raised some money via Kickstarter to make a series of short films on their album. Um, I think the model's really good. I think what I like about it is not just the fact that you're de-risking your investment by getting fans to put the money in advance. I like the fact that it requires bands to have an element of faith right. and... Um, get involved early and then hopefully become you know quite vocal in their support of these bands and encourage their friends to get involved which is it's sort of an old school thing that doesn't happen as much perhaps these days seeing as everyone gets access to things so quickly and easily um, so I think anything that engages an audience and makes them work a little harder yeah. to reach a band has longer lasting benefits yeah and a question I'm going to ask uh, finally to every every independent I, I chatted today is uh, uh, streaming services pro or against at the moment or sort of on the fence 
I'm for everything. I'm for any way of people getting music and discovering bands and, and engaging with bands in a, in a legal manner that enables the bands and the labels to get paid, basically. Exactly. That's awesome. And uh, leave us with a couple of uh, the upcoming releases that people should be checking out from the label. Hercules and Love Affair album's out in May. Teleman album's out in June. Tom Beck album's out in June as well. Uh, the Babe album came out recently and is beautiful. Marin the Believer you should be listening to. Fimba Bravo and of course the greatest rock and roll band in the world, The Wave Pictures. Awesome. And uh, check out uh, moshimoshi.com, right? Moshi Moshi Music. Moshi Moshi Music.com. Sorry about that. <laughs> thanks. Thanks so much. Cheers.